Hey everyone, long time no see, it's been literally two weeks ever since I last uploaded a video and I'm so happy I'm finally free with high school, finally free with all the exams that have been constricting me from uploading more videos and we're gonna be checking out the new Barack Vitals as well as- Wait a damn minute, <laughs> wait a damn- Barack Vitals, Barack Vitals as well as the new Pershon, Pershon, Percheron, Persh, Percheron horses. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the um, the name of them. I know it's a French name. Um, so let's go to Steve's. I mean, yeah, Steve's and then go to Marley's and check them out. I haven't um, made a reaction video to them, which is, you know, insane because I always do that, but I just didn't have the time to do that. And we're just going to live react. Honestly, from what I've seen in the trailers, I'm not that big of a fan, but um, I'm really happy that we're getting three Dapple Grey Coats, which is all I ever wanted. Um, I freaking love Dapple Grey Horses. Well, I forgot the Silver Glade got a new look. Um, honestly, it's really cartoonish, um, but it's way better than it used to be before. Yeah, it feels like a whole different land, and it feels weird for me for this area to be changed just because I have spent so many, so much time here um, in my childhood. Like, I literally have been playing this game for six years, and in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2022, I've had my home stable here. And you know, Silverblade getting um, a relook and being changed was a bit, a bit fun, but a bit sad too. All right, so where are the little rats? Okay, they look huge. They are draft horses, no wonder. So the first one is a gray one, or how people like to call them, a light gray, right? Um, Honestly, something I've noticed about these horses that I'm not really a huge fan of are the eyes um, and their faces make them look like turkeys for some reason. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they look like a certain type of bird, their faces. But I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Um, I think it's the head shape that makes them look like they have a peak, you know? Um, so this is um, the light gray one. I don't really like the eyes um, because of the color, too, of this one. And then we have the black one. I don't like the way the hair is so stiff. Um, okay, really don't like this one. I think it's the eyes again. Yeah, probably the eyes again. Uh, then it's the chestnut one, I believe. I think this one is a no. I think it's a flex and chestnut. You know what? Whatever it is, this is a horse. This is what we get. <laughs> um, I like the coat, but not that much. I will for sure be getting a dapple gray. This one is a dark dapple gray, I believe. My least favorite one out of all the dapple grays. I think it's interesting because we don't have this coat in the game. I think so. I think this is the first horse with this coat. Um, you know what's interesting about these horses? They feel very unique and different. Like the Arabians that we got, I feel like they have been modeled and created by a different artist. Like the Pershawn horses, however you pronounce them. They do nothing like the other horses that we have in the game, in my opinion. Like the style feels different. Um, I really like this coat. This is a dark bay. I really, really like this coat. We'll probably be getting this one. If I would like the animations, I will get this one too. Okay, but where is the other? <laughs> Guys, I am so angry. I recorded a whole video. And my microphone didn't work. But it's alright. We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm so upset. Alright, so I got this horse, the Pershuron horse, Pershon, whatever. Um, in English, you know, it's being pronounced Pershuron, Pershon, and in French, like, Pershon. No, it's definitely, it's definitely not like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. So I got the um, dapple gray one, the um, dark dapple gray, I believe. No, it's not a dark one. It's really nice. I've, I love the coat. I love the excessive dappling on the horse. Um, I love the eyes. I love the pink muzzle, I love the pink muzzle, and um, let's go through the animations for the second time, because the first time there was no audio. I'm so upset about it still, I can't believe it, I was so happy with the video. So we have the walk, um, I like it, we have the trot, the trot is nice. Then we have the canter, the canter is also nice, I like the way the belly, you know, looks in the canter it's really looks really fluffy and then we have the slow gallop 
Um, not a huge fan of the mane, the tail texture. They feel very abrasive and rough and metallic. Also, this string of the mane is not moving, which is not the best thing. Um, I like the gallop because it feels very dominant and determined, like the horse feels very determined and know what it wants. It makes it look very aggressive, which is kind of hot, not gonna lie. Um, and then the hard stop is really interesting, we don't have this hard stop for any other horses. I don't know if I like it though, but I also don't hate it. And then this is the rear, I don't like it because it makes the horse look like it's got back problems. It's very arched, very curved, you know, the back when doing this feels weird. Um, the reverse is really nice. I love the horse's face when reversing. Then we have the jump, the canter jump. There's nothing that special about, you know, the jumps, but they're not bad. They're just kind of like boring. I've noticed something when running from behind, uh, the butt forms this very weird triangular shape here, a way you can't really see it, but it exists, just have to take a very close look, it forms this very weird shape here, you can't really see it when, you know, in photo mode, um, but yeah, this horse is actually quite nice, I was not expecting to like it this much, because when I uh, watched the trailer, I was quite... What? Oh, <laughs> okay. I wish they would fix the rain problem. You know, the reins are literally in the horse's neck. And I want to see the tail of this horse, but I can't because the horse is huge. So I like this hairstyle. I like this one too. I like the braids too, but I don't want to get the braids. I think I'll get a special one. Um, huge regret. Instant regret. I'm changing this hairstyle. I don't like the way this, this main, the mane looks like because of the texture. It looks very pixelated, and there's a lot of, like, this looks like chains, like small chains, or like strings, or something. I don't know, I don't like it. Um, I'll get the braids, or this one. Okay, I'll get this one. Oh no, maybe I should have gotten the braids. <laughs> maybe I should have gotten the braids. Um, well, no, they're both nice. I'll just keep this one. So, overall, this horse is um, quite nice. I like it. I had lower standards for this horse and expectations, but it's actually decent. It's interesting because it doesn't feel like this horse has been created by the same artist that has created the Frisians or like the Arabians or the Golden Ponies. It feels very unique, like the style feels different. So I finished recording the whole thing and apparently there's a special gate. I literally pressed space the entire time and I wasn't seeing anything and I was like, oh, we probably don't have a special gate, but we do. I'm just dumb. So I think it's like the way Icelandics work. It's like you press shift. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, okay. I actually like this. It's really smooth and nice. It's really drafty, if that makes sense. Like it's really specific for a draft horse to do this. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm really happy with these horses. Like I am honestly baffled. I was not expecting these horses to be this amazing. There are things I don't like about them, but there's a lot of stuff I like about them. Look at this juicy boy. The dappling, wow. I am a sucker for dapples for some weird reason. I'm so basic, it's not even funny anymore. This horse looks like a bird a little bit because of the face shape. It could be anything you want. It could be a chicken, it could be a falcon, it could be a turkey. You can get creative with it. You know, like you buy this horse and you can make it a bird if you want to. Just let your imagination flow. I really want this horse, but I cannot buy it. I've only had like 950 star points when I bought um, when I bought this Pershawn horse, I only had like 950, only, um, only enough for one horse. I literally haven't bought star points in two months. I wanted to not buy star points for a month, for the month of May, but then June came around and I also didn't buy star points just because I didn't feel like I needed to buy them. And I am proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. Also name my horse Milky, because I thought it was funny. We got new name options, but too bad I can't show you guys. And there's this name variation you could pick for your horse right now because of the new name options we got. That is just not okay. Like, that is just not okay. Like, we're literally playing. Like, it's not okay. Like, there's this name option you can pick for your horse. 
um, I will not be saying it just because I want to keep my channel as friendly as possible but sorry stable you need to check up your your stuff you better you better remove it or not we also got some new bridles for the horses I'm pretty sure okay so we got this bridle it looks really nice on this horse I really really like the way these bridles look like on these horses I might just buy one should go with the black one there we go I have one star going I have one, one star coin, and I want to lead it, lead a big boy. This horse is humongous, I compared it to the North Swedish horse and the Frisian horse, and it's taller than both of them. Well, it's really, really um, similar to the Frisian's height, but it feels chunkier and bigger. Alright, so I changed the outfit to work with the new bridle, and I'm really happy with it. The saddle pad looks a bit weird and smudged. And also, we can wear leg wraps with these horses. On these horses. Which is, you know... I was not expecting that, and I don't like the way they look like. Um, yeah, I am really surprised in a good way with this horse. I'm not, like, a huge fan of them, you know. But I'm also, like, not disappointed. Like, there's barely anything wrong with their animations and their legs. We usually get broken legs. These ones are not like that, which is amazing. Um, the style feels different, and I prefer the Arabian um, Gal and Pony style over this one. I don't know who created this horse. It feels very unique and different than the others, but it's still quite nice. Still like it. Guys, I am honestly so happy I recorded this video. I'm so happy I can finally record again. I am free with high school. I am finally back recording again that I'm just so happy about that um, let me know down below what you think of these horses I'm really curious as to which one you got and what your opinions are regarding them again I think they're really nice the eyes are not my favorite um, but they're really nice and I like that they're really tall and really chunky that's quite fun um, if you guys enjoyed this video then please like it subscribe ring the bell and I'll see you guys in my next one have a good one Thank you.